Hey, a lot of you know by now, I've been working on a organ, and this is a digital organ, it's not a real pipe organ, but it sounds extremely nice. I'm gonna turn the volume up, hopefully, so you all can hear what it sounds like. Now, I do have some problems that I've been chasing down, and I found them. I'm gonna show you real quick how I found those problems. But first, let's have a listen here. Now, I don't have these buttons core, uh, coinciding with this up here. Now, these are the actual stock pulls. Uh, and my first problem was is just to make sure this is working. So I'm just going to turn on. Actually, I have to plug in the power first. I'll let you see this down here. Those are all the relay banks. Now we need to just energize a couple of, uh, of the relays that turn on the stops up above. Now you see that one that's blinking? That's because there is a problem with one of the wires in here and it all relates to the same thing, but I'll show you that in a minute. But I have to turn on a bunch of stuff right now because I don't have anything labeled and I don't have the buttons in the right place. So let's Okay, obviously I can't use both hands because I'm, <laughs> I have the phone here. Now, I don't have this organ is not working yet, or this keyboard is not working. It's supposed to represent the pedal board, which will be down below. I don't have the pedal board yet, and it seems that there's a short in this cable, so I'm not able to get this to work. But otherwise, it would have been channel one. I'm hoping it's not the keyboard and just this 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 here, because I kind of use this keyboard. But oh well, what can I do for now? So uh, what else do we have here? The cup links, which are in the middle. That's these three buttons here. They're all backwards at the moment. The only one that's right is the top one. Otherwise, these two are mixed up. And all they would do is move what's on the pedal board up to e either one of these two manuals. But there you go. Now let me show you what the problem I'm having. And I'm also gonna let you see this as I cut off the stops. You can see, well, you can't see actually. Let me pull this out just a little bit. All right. So you can see all the little LEDs there. And I want you to pay attention to this here in a minute. I'm starting to turn things off now. You can see how it cuts it off. And as it cuts things off, the Arduino blinks to say that a signal has been passed. So my first problem I have is this button here does not work. So it turns nothing on and off. You can see on the Arduino, nothing happens. So that's actually a real short or in this case, a wire that's not connected. I don't even see any of the, there it is. That's the only relay that comes on. So that's easy to find that problem. Now, the next problem that we have is if I hit certain buttons, and if you give it a minute, this one may not do it right now. No, let me go to another one. That's not the right one either. Because it's a short, I don't think it's going to do it now because I moved the board. Yeah, see, it's not going to do it now because I moved the board. So it's a, it's something I need to find. Oh, there you go. Did you see everything cut off and I didn't touch anything? Let's see if I can go back here. Yeah, 
Sometimes it's worse than other uh, other in on other times, but right now it's it's not doing anything. Everything is kind of working okay, other than it turning off. There we go. You see, it's not doing it right now. But this one was blinking when I was pressing the stop off. Anyway, you probably saw it. There you go. See, and that's not the one I'm hitting. I'm actually hitting stop off. Uh, so. How do we trace down this problem? Well, it was really easy. You see that? That one's blinking there. What I did is I first went, clicked on one, said, oh, this one's blinking. Then I went and found that one, which is here. And then I said, oh, look, that one's blinking by itself. I found that one. That is the clear button, which is here. That clears all stops. And I kept hitting that until this one started blinking and I found it, which is here. Now with everything on, I can go and pull this board out and see what channel is having problems. And look at that channel, or in this case, column one. In fact, you see the one that's off up there. I can probably find that. And there it is. And then this one here, I think is number five. Or is it the clear? That is the clear stop button. So what I need to do now is chase it back and see, is it a wiring problem or is it a um, port on the Arduino? You can see it's just blinking by itself and I'm not even touching anything right now. So that's telling me that there is a, um, a problem on that port or that wire. And I don't know. So I need to go back and just figure it out. And that's this red wire here. Because it comes, it turns, goes up, and then goes into this, let's see where it goes. Oh, no, it's not that this red wire, it's actually this red wire. Which goes into the very first, I think that's port 10 on the Arduino. And it then goes over to the relay and then goes straight down to here. So we'll need to figure it out. All right, anyway, there's a quick little update on the organ and you heard it play. Uh, we're getting there. The next thing would be uh, at least get this cleaned up, get everything labeled. I will then put it into the church once I've gotten all the shorts fixed. And uh, from there, I'll just play around with it, use it for a couple of services in the church. And if I'm happy with it, we'll start designing the, uh, the cabinet that all this goes in, redo all this, make them nice. And then probably later on, I'm going to change these to actual stop pulls. And I'll have a little LED here so I can see if that stop has been pulled since I already have that option to do that. Uh, I could do these little buttons where you just press, but the problem is it doesn't, there's no way to indicate unless I do more wiring and more programming that this button has been pressed. So there you go. God bless. Hope you have a wonderful rest of this Lent, and tomorrow is fourth Sunday of Advent, which is a, um, I always get the two mixed up. It's either Gaudete or Latare Sunday. Um, I'm going to say it's Gaudete. So, God bless. Bye.